Hey everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, check out our merch store. We'll have a link down below in the description for that. Um, today what we're going to be working on, we got that little silo out in the pasture that we put the sorghum sedan grass in. Um, and then I topped it off with some haylage that we chopped just to get it full because I needed to change that tripod out. Um, so anyway, it's been sitting now. We got after we got it filled, the top couple loads were some pretty kind of weedy stuff, so... Um, we just left it sit when we had our fair going on, so I didn't mess with it. So there's going to be some moldy stuff on top. So that's what we're going to take out now, um, kind of show you how we're going to do that. We don't have the unloader in yet. I did get the new tripod in, um, so we'll go and show you that and kind of show you our setup for opening that silo. But I wanted to show you the old tripod first. I've got it here in the scrap metal pile. Um, so here's the pulley that was at the peak that broke. So you can see the groove here and it cut through. So basically half the pulley, <clears throat> the cable just cut through. Now I had people trying to tell me that, oh, there's no way that that pulley's not serviceable. Um, well, I guess anything is serviceable, but the way this was made, <clears throat> I'll see if I can show you here cause it's kind of backwards, but so here's two of the tripod legs and then there's this steel rod it goes through these cast ears and then this one i cut this rod but this rod went through here and it was welded to these now what i could have done i could have cut this welds off and taken this out and tried to press this out but this is seized up pretty bad so i would have to try to press this out without breaking off one of these cast ears because i'm pretty sure you're not going to get these pieces anymore um, and then I'd also have to try to find the right pulley for a cable that would fit in there. So, um, and then try to get it welded back together and more of a headache than I wanted to deal with. It, um, I talked to the dealer that I got the new one from. He said there was a company that made these like this and yeah, they really not a serviceable piece. So the one I've got now, I'll show you when we get up there, that one, um, I think it's a Val Metal brand. Uh, that one, the pulley, you can take the pulley right out, so if you need to. So anyway, I wanted to show you what the old one looked like. We'll head up there now, up to the silo. I got the manure spreader up there. Um, I got a conveyor set up across the bunk up there to fill the spreader, so I can just fork it down, and the conveyor will take most of it out into the spreader. So we'll head up and get started with that. Okay, we're up here at the silo now. Um, this is the conveyor I got set up. This conveyor is actually, my grandpa put this together years ago. This was the flip down conveyor off of a old belt drive uh, silo forge blower. He quit using because went to the PTO one. And uh, so he took this off and made a conveyor out of it. It works pretty good. I haven't used it for a long time, but it'll work good for this. I got to move the spreader over a little because I'm hitting over to the side. But anyway, so we got tripod up. We'll climb inside and show you that. But I moved the the cable winch over to this side of the silo. Uh, a lot of you probably remember it used to be over here on the back side. Uh, and I did put a different winch on it. I had a badger winch on it, which is here. Um, but this had the open gears, and I didn't like that. Uh, had trouble when you were raising it. Running with a drill, they wanted to get hot and stuff. I liked the enclosed gearbox better. But the reason it was over here, there used to be a Pats brand unloader, and it had a deal that mounted on the bottom of the silo out here. So you raise the unloader, you'd pull it up with a tractor. And this way they had an, whoops. This way they had enough room to go that way to pull the cable with the tractor. They didn't have room off this way. But I figured since we were putting in a new tripod. I would uh, get the get the winch mounted over here, so that's what we did. And the cable right now is just loose because I don't have the unloader in it yet. So anyway, we'll climb up, we'll start pitching down the moldy stuff. I'm gonna fire up the blower so I can get some fresh air up there, um, keep the dust out of the way and stuff. And uh, I think we're probably good from silo gas now, but it doesn't hurt to have the fresh air anyway. And then as far as putting the unloader back in, my plan for right now, once I get down to good silage is to rent, uh, I'm just gonna rent a lift, I think. And we can lift the pieces up there versus trying to pull everything up by hand. 
I think that'll be a lot easier. So anyway, I'm gonna move the spreader over, get the air fired up, and uh, we'll start forking out of there. Well, we're up in the silo. Um, I got the air running. It's gonna be kind of loud because I got the blower running. So I hope you can hear me okay, but here's our new tripod, all fancy and shiny. Um, yeah, that's where we cut through and run the cable out. So that should be all good now, but you can see on uh, there the pulley bolts right in the middle. So uh, you can take that out and service it or oil it or whatever you need to do. So that's much nicer. So anyway, I got Justin down below. He's going to run the conveyor for me and I'm going to start pitching this out. Um, I don't know how deep this mold's going to go. I'm hoping it ain't too bad. This last stuff we put in was on the wetter side so it shouldn't have molded as bad so we'll see but like i said this top load was pretty weedy anyway and kind of did that on purpose well i was running out of good stuff to chop anyhow but um, i don't feel so bad about this going to waste so we'll fire the conveyor up and see what happens we'll come back when I'm done but doesn't look too bad about three inches maybe so that's pretty good and then this feed here that looks pretty good so clean the rest of this out and we'll come back in there how did they go pulling it ahead good. you want to spread it now oh right on all right we'll go unload it and get some more didn't waste too bad out here for as much as i pitched down so not too much to clean up out here either but anyway we'll haul this out take the rest out of there clean this up and then we can put some good feed in the feeder wagon on these hills we shouldn't send you out to gear ox farm yet <laughs> manure I wouldn't be this close
right, there we go, got that. One more load, pretty much. Cleaned up everything around the conveyor and whatnot, so scraped up another load there. I'm gonna take that and spread out. Justin's gonna go get ready for chores. And once we get chores rolled up, wrapped up, I'm gonna uh, probably put some of the good stuff out of the silo all fork down into the feeder wagon. We'll see, uh, see what the cows think of it. got a load smells good so hopefully they eat it good um, went pretty well I got to make a couple adjustments on that conveyor so it doesn't build up so bad right by the silo there it wants to bridge up but um, that's not a big deal I'm gonna shut this off just talking to Jen when I came down I'm starting to get down a couple doors now just because it's settled and what we've taken out this stuff doesn't fork too bad I don't know contemplating on just pitching the silo out by hand and getting it down to the bottom and then putting the unloader in and not even bothering with the lift I don't know how something to think about I guess might be getting too low now to reach it from the outside but We'll leave that thought for tomorrow. What do you think? How's your chocolate milk? Huh?